Hi, I'm Mike, and this is Mike's Road Trip. Get off the road! All right. Hi, I'm Mike of Mike's Road Trip. And on this episode, I'm gonna share with you my 10 favorite road trip destinations around the Czech Republic. So come along with me and let me show you around. The Czech Republic is not a very large country. As a matter of fact, all of these road trip suggestions are just about a two hour drive from the capital city. The Czech Republic is probably most well known for its opulent castles, its classical music history, crystal glass art, its beer scene, which by the way, Czechs consume more beer per capita than any country in the world. Additionally, you'll still find its cultural heritage alive and well in some of the rural parts of the country. Prague, of course, is the capital city of the Czech Republic, and it's one of the finest cities in Europe, if not the world. As a matter of fact, the city center of Prague is a UNESCO site, along with 13 other designations across the country. Prague is one of the only cities in Europe spared from the devastation of World War II. Therefore, most of its 11th to 18th century buildings and bridges still remain. The city also boasts an abundance of world-class hotels and restaurants. One of my favorites is the Aria, which is walking distance to many of the city's highlights. They also have an incredible rooftop restaurant and access to one of the oldest Baroque gardens in the country. Located just an hour northeast of Prague are two small neighboring villages that are perfect for romantic getaways. The first is Lochen, which is dominated by its chateau with the same name. This chateau was originally built as a summer cottage for a duke whose disdain for dirty money required that his butler wash and iron the paper currency. This is just one of the interesting things you'll learn when touring the castle. The surrounding gardens are stunning and have several labyrinths integrated into the overall design. One has several lookout towers just in case someone gets lost. Just a few miles away is Maselli, a peaceful place full of apple orchards and sweeping views away from the hustle of Prague. This picturesque village is home to Chateau Maselli, another romantic escape that has been fully restored to its former glory when it hosted none other than Mark Twain. This forested retreat of Chateau Maselli is a place of ancient history with exceptional balance and harmony. It's like being inserted into a dreamy fairy tale. The grounds are palatial, the accommodations are second to none, and the service is impeccable. It's a place that's hard to leave behind and easy to love forever. They also have a spa and an exceptional on-site restaurant so you never have to leave the delightful environment if you so choose. To the north, along the southern border of Germany is Bohemian Switzerland. And despite its name, this outdoor recreational haven is located in the Czech Republic. The landscape and rock formations are truly unique and may look familiar to some, as this was a filming location for Disney's 
Chronicle of Narnia movies. If you want to be one with nature and you enjoy hiking, this is the place for you. If you visit, I highly recommend the folks at Northern Hikes, an environmentally responsible tour operator that will show you some hidden gems along with some of the highlights within the Bohemian Switzerland National Park. After some physical activity and adventure, you may be interested in some spa time. Rising from the forested valley of western Bohemia, Karlovary is known for its healing thermal springs and opulent 19th century architecture. This spa town has impressive colonnades and riverside walkways. There is a number of drinking fountains to sip on the sulfurous waters containing healthy restorative properties. And the grandiose architecture of Calavari is really something to marvel, which is a mix of neo-baroque and neo-renaissance styles. Just beyond the city limits are a slew of hiking trails. Laquette is considered the historical gem of Bohemia. Dominating the town's panorama is Laquette Castle, which was built on a rock near the Ore River in the 12th century. Strolling the streets feels like walking through a storybook or a movie set. As a matter of fact, parts of the 2006 James Bond movie Casino Royale were filmed here. Chesky Krumlov is an outstanding example of a small, Central European, medieval town whose architecture heritage has remained intact thanks to its peaceful evolution over more than five centuries. It's a place that's easy to fall in love with. The town is situated on the banks of the Viltava River and its fortified castle, built with Gothic, Renaissance and Baroque elements is the focal point of town. No cars are allowed in the city center, so pedestrians can have a field day getting lost within the labyrinth of narrow streets leading to some fascinating discoveries, such as this small museum dedicated to the camera. No visit to Chesky Krumlov would be complete without a tour of its castle. The village of Landis is in the heart of the Czech Republic's wine region in South Moravia. It's famous for the fairy tale chateau with expansive gardens and greenhouse. This is one of the most beautiful English neo-Gothic style chateaus in Europe. The chateau is surrounded by extensive parks and ponds, with a number of other impressive nearby structures to explore. The grounds are absolutely massive, so I recommend taking a carriage ride to give your feet a rest. You may also want to take a boat ride, which will give you a different perspective of the grounds. Nearby is the village of Altis, and inside this 18th century Baroque castle is the wine salon, which houses the nation's 100 best rated wines. While the Valti Chateau is one of the most impressive Baroque residences in Central Europe, it's the Czech Republic's wine salon that attracts the most attention. Mikulov is an enchanting village in the midst of a stunning countryside in southern Bohemia, which is surrounded by vineyards in all directions. Mikulov is in the heart of wine country and home to one of the largest wine barrels in the world. The dominating Baroque chateau in the center of town is the focal point, with lush gardens and many places to take in the varying landscapes and stupendous views. Just on the outskirts of the main square is a butte 
translated as the Holy Hill. This is a spot that provides some wonderful views of the dominating Baroque chateau in the center of town and the peaceful landscapes beyond. There are romantic pathways that meander down the butte through the town's vineyards, where a historic Jewish cemetery and museum reside. This is one of the oldest and largest Jewish cemeteries in the country and dates back to the mid-15th century. Bruno is the Czech Republic's second largest city, and while it's lesser known than Prague, it's nearly as impressive. Bruno is also the capital of Moravia, which is the gateway to the fertile vineyards of the surrounding areas. The historic city center of Bruno is quite beautiful and is peppered with historic sites that date back to the 11th century. A large number of the buildings are from the Baroque and Renaissance periods. Bruno is a lively city with lots of festivals, live music, top-notch hotels and restaurants, which are all much more affordable than Prague. Cobblestone streets lead to public art and remarkable architecture. And while the city center is certainly walkable, there's a great public transit system in case you get tired. One of the top modern attractions in town is the Villa Tagunhut Museum. Built in 1929 by Ludwig Mies van der Rohe, this is a one-of-a-kind modernist villa built for the Tagunhut family. It is the only example of modern architecture in the Czech Republic inscribed by the list of UNESCO World Heritage Sites. What are the highlights are these massive automated windows that open the house up to the outdoors. Ostrava is an up-and-coming city embracing its industrial heritage by brilliantly repurposing old steel mills and other industrial sites into hip and eclectic venues. You'll find fantastic art installations, wonderful music festivals, cultural events, conference centers, and museums paying homage to the industrial workers. One of the best ways to see Ostrava is the classic car tour. Public Juba. How cool is that? Well, that's a look at my top 10 road trip destinations in the Czech Republic. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if so, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more road trip travel videos. So until next time, we'll see you on the road. Backroadtrip.com